Hi, I'm Maribeth and I work at Aloha. I have been here for four and a half years. I am an enrolled nurse and an, the infection control nurse as well. I love my job. I love it because um, it just gives me that, you know, confidence that I am able to provide safe and, and quality nursing care to the kids that we have here. So a normal day would look like we we would first start with the handover, where we um, receive um, important information about the children from the previous shift, and then we we take notes of the the priorities that we have to attend to for the shift, and that can include, you know, if um, someone needs a seizure management or their dystonia management or someone has had a uh, spike in temperature or someone became unwell overnight. Uh, things like that that we, we need to um, make sure that we continue the care from the previous shift. And um, basically the whole day there's a mixture of um, medications, uh, medication management and um, as well as making sure that the kids are enjoying the recreation time in the orange room, ensuring that the kids' um, personal cares and, and their nutritional management as well are attended to. And um, yeah, basically ensuring we keep a happy and safe environment for the kids yeah. that we have. I have three kids and I talk to them about, you know, um, if mommy has, you know, done this for her patient today, mommy did help make her patient feel better today. And, and that makes me feel proud that yeah. I'm able to, sorry. Yeah. Um, that I'm able to provide that care here and as well as at home. Okay, so it makes me feel proud that I'm able to apply the skills that I learned from here, bring it home, and at the same time, my motherly skills, I'm able to apply and bring it here. Being able to provide that the environment for the children um, where they feel like they're like at home with their families, the way we provide the care, the way we, the way we treat them, and the way we recognize how they feel on, even if it's a nonverbal um, communication, they look us in the eyes and we're able to tell if they're hungry or they're in pain or they didn't have a good sleep and, and um, they need their nappies changed and they don't like something. You know, it's, it's that being able to understand what they're feeling 